Hey guys, it's Trippy. Welcome to the video. Today, myself and Connor went to Bedroofen Steps once again. We've been in the past for a video, I think it was last year. Uh, but now I've got the drone, I wanted to go again to check out the area and just sort of get a bigger scope of just how big the beach was. But unfortunately, the beach was closed off. The only steps that I know of to get down there had been knocked away by a landslide. Um, so like that access was just all blocked off and the, pad uh, the gate was padlocked up. So we um, did hang around the area for a little bit and hopefully have got some good footage. Um, but after that we decided to go to a place called Travaux's Head Lighthouse, which from Bedroof and Steps you can see it off in the distance. Um, mainly because there's a place called Stinking Cove, <laughs> so I thought we've got to visit that. So um, yeah, didn't quite go to plan this video, we had a few uh, bumps along the way, the roads there are really bad in terms of narrow. Um, had a few near misses with the car. So um, yeah, a bit of a stressful day to be honest, but hopefully got some good sights along the way anyway. And yeah, with that I shall crack on with the video and I hope you enjoy. Bye. October and it's bloody freezing. Oh wait, this is the steps, wasn't it? Here, I think, to see what the damage was. Too bad for me, but maybe it's at the bottom. There's just like no steps there. I'll try and get a better view. Damn. Oh, has he found the sneaky route down? Ah. A good little spot you got here. Oh, you can see where it's sort of yeah. all broken off. Oh yeah, I don't. <laughs> I thought you could go all the way down. Maybe not. Oh no, I just mean you couldn't. There's no way you could get down that part. Really? Do a somersault and hope for the best. So we got quite lucky with the first spot where we're going to fly the drone. Um, I'm just setting that up now on the video. Um, but it was quite a windy day. We got lucky on the first one and very, very lucky later on in terms of what happened. That will be later on in the video at the next point. But I'm sort of quite aware of how annoying drones can be. You know, if you're like drilling a hole, you're not annoyed by the drill, but your neighbours or people around you are definitely annoyed by it. And it's kind of like that, I always try and find a little place tucked away, out of the way of other people, just so if they're out for a nice quiet walk, you don't hear flying over their head, I try and take off as quickly as possible. But um, yeah, hopefully the footage came out alright, and uh, yeah, you'll see what I mean later on when I say I was very, very lucky, because it was really scary. But um, yeah, for now I'll continue with the video. Yeah.
I apologise for this clip if no one's interested, but it's just some people may be interested in it. So what the drone is doing now is following me and like tracking me. So I'll be like walking along, I think I mentioned it to Connor at the start of the video, and the drone will follow you, or if you walk towards it, go back and it just sort of follows you around. It's almost like a third person's there with you, it's like the third member of the team. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know we only sort of do walks as hobbies, but it's cool to kind of have this other option. So if I'm walking down a path, it'll follow me, and also if I'm walking towards it, it's like I've got a, like, a cameraman following us around. Um, and I just wanted to have like a quick test as well, and it seemed to work really well, so I'd be keen to hear what you guys think of it, if you think it's a good idea or not. Um, but yeah, hopefully in the future I can test it out a bit better and include it in videos properly, rather than as just like a little mini experiment. I didn't see the lighthouse on the map. Oh, there. We've got Dina's head here as well. Dina! So at this point, this was really, really scary because if you guys have been following my channel, you'll know I've only had the drone for about a week or so, and this is maybe my third or fourth flight, and it was pretty windy, but I checked on my phone and the winds didn't seem strong enough to blow the drone away. Um, but it's around now the drone pops up with a message saying, warning, wind level's too high, um, return to home, unavailable, please land manually, and return to home if you don't know, I think I can't remember if I mentioned not. Well, basically you press that and the drone will land exactly pretty much in the space where it took off from. So now I'm manually trying to fly it down, so I drop down as low as I can go. And when you see us sat on the bench staring at it, that's me trying to drive the drone forward so we can take it and grab it. But the wind is blowing it away from us. I'm like, where's it going? Oh God, <laughs> like really starting to panic. And I said to Connor, do you mind running after it? I'll try and land it behind the, la the lighthouse away from the wind and you just pluck it up before someone else comes around and finds it. So right now I'm sort of looking only at my phone, trying to see what the drone sees and thinking there's a lighthouse around here somewhere. Oh God, there it is. It sort of appears on screen. <laughs> so I'm like, bloody hell, that was close. I mean, there's sensors on the drone that would have stopped it from crashing into it, but still to see it suddenly appear, I think bloody hell, that was close. And now I'm just sort of trying to get it low so Connor can grab it, praying to see Connor come around the corner. And any minute now he's like, dun, 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 here he comes to save the day so uh yeah <laughs> I was just like happy to see the ground thinking right you can grab it right now so I start to get it lower and like press the land button to sort of shut off the propellers I think you can see Connor's shadow of him trying to like poke it to the floor and then as soon as I see the grass I think oh it's on the floor thank god for that and the camera kind of bugs out a little bit because it's the gimbal sort of trying to think like what the hell's going on I shouldn't be sideways but yeah it was just such relief I mean it was a lesson learned because I didn't really pay attention to the wind speeds and what the drone was capable of sort of flying against. So if this was at sea and I was trying to fly it back to us and couldn't, it would have just landed in the water and I would have lost it and I would have been absolutely devastated. So from now on, whenever we go anywhere and I'm flying the drone, if I can feel wind, I'm going to check what the wind speeds are. I mean, I might even check anyway because what I can feel and what was above you might be different. So yeah, lesson learned. Got away with that one, thankfully. So live to fly another day but yeah very scary <laughs> indeed but hey oh uh, yeah got it back in one piece got lucky but whew, yeah scary times i said at least the gopro can't get blown away oh it's quite good down there it's like here the winds died down basically completely As I say that, it starts blowing again. <laughs> you have got longer limbs though. <laughs> da, da, da. Now do a front flip.
So I think I'm going to wrap up the video here. I did have a few more clips, but they're pretty much like this one with the wind where it's like really blowing into the mic and just sort of like ruins the clip. It's not a nice thing to listen to, just the wind going into the mic. So yeah, overall a good day. I'd say it wasn't the most fun journey with the car and a pretty panicky moment with the drone, but yeah, it was worth going to. But now I know what the roads are like, I probably wouldn't want to go again unless it was like a really big occasion just because it was a bit of a pain in the butt to get to. But overall, good day. Um, we had some uh, chicken and chips afterwards at a pub, so I'm fat and full, about to fall asleep about 20 past 5 in the afternoon. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm keen to know any, well, keen to read any comments about the journey if you guys um, like it and like the inclusion of it in the videos. Um, and yeah, other than that, I think that's about it. So thank you for watching as always, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers!